let's just quickly talk about IOCS. Um, it's uh, an additional layer in the media plane um, inside RTP. It's a complete it's completely ridiculous uh, if you come from what RTP is and how does it work. So in a normal RTP message, what do you have? You have your IP header, you have an UDP header, you have an RTP header, and inside RTP header you describe the payload type, and then you have your codec payload. And the codec payload then in GSM is FR, EFR, AMR, uh, or HR uh, uh, codec frames. Now, that's how we know it and how we use it in 2G all the time. In uh, 3G, uh, for whatever reason, uh, they decided that uh, they would use RTP as a transport. Um, and yes, the payload is also AMR, of course, since 3G uses AMR, uh, uh, narrowband or wideband AMR as the payload. But let's put an additional protocol in, in, in inside, uh, which is called IUUP, the IU user plane. Um, and then the specification actually says, well, you know, all these headers in RTP, you just ignore them, the fields. So the timestamp doesn't matter, and the payload type doesn't matter, and this doesn't matter, and that doesn't matter. They are all basically, the receiver has to not care about what's in them. And instead, you use the fields that are in IUUP. Um, and this is the reason why today, I mean, uh, as Niels has pointed out, we, we have an Osmo MSC that can talk IUCS uh, signaling on the S3G side, and it can talk uh, um, uh, uh, a, of course, on the 2G side, so you can have a single MSC and, and RAN in 2G and 3G, but you cannot have a call from 2G to 3G and vice versa, because there is this additional protocol layer in between. And the GSM BTS, so you can configure the AMR to be used on the 2G side, and you can configure AMR to be used on the 3G side, and it's the same codec, but uh, it's expressed differently inside RTP. Uh, not only there is the additional IUUP header, but also the payload itself, all the fields, of course, are in different order and, uh, and, and, and scramble somehow. So um, what we need is in Osmo MGW, we need to add uh, IUUP, this additional protocol, which also has some very simplistic, but it has state machines. So it's not just an additional header that you can ignore or parse, but you need to also implement some logic because sort of the two ends need to, uh, there's like a, a request acknowledgement kind of protocol. So you need to properly respond to uh, what the other side has to say. Um, and then um, uh, once we have that, we need to sort of reorder the AMR payload. Um, and then uh, we can actually have calls between 2G and 3G uh, in, in Osmo MGW. That's basically... Uh, the microphone, please. Sorry, for, 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 for the AMR, is it uh, octet aligned versus, I forgot what's the other, or is it something else? It's not about alignment of the frame, but it's really uh, the individual, um, like five or whatever bit long fields inside the, the codec, the, the individual. It's, it's, but it's called, in the, in the RFC, it's called, there is octet aligned uh, yes. bit stream, and there is, I forgot, whatever. It's not about that. No, I know that different. the RFCs have this. No, no, no. It, it's about uh, basically the the order of the bits is more like how the uh, how they are received on the radio side. So you first have the class zero bits, then the class one bits, then the class two bits or something, and you need to completely reorder all the bits uh, to get to either octet aligned or um, uh, uh, um, a bandwidth efficient uh, AMR payload. So it's really completely different. But you don't need to transcode. You really need to just reshuffle the bits uh, in in the right order. Um, and that's it. Um, uh, and the reason for this is, of course, uh, Dieter will know this, uh, that um, on uh, 3G, uh, the different class bits are transported over different uh, transport channels or physical channels on the, on, the, uh, on the radio interface. So you actually have uh, three physical channels on the radio interface, each for the different, with a different um, convolutional code um, for the different class bits. And then those, uh, basically, when, when the um, node B uh, moves from the air interface to the IUB interface, uh, where IUUP is specified, um, they basically don't do all the, the remangling and reshifting of the bits, but they basically just take, oh, yeah, this is basically the class 0 bits, and this is the class 1 bits, and we uh, concatenate them and put them in, in RTP. So RTP is not really used as RTP, and also the payload format is not like normally in RTP. They just use RTP because, I don't know, maybe they've heard that you put audio in RTP. Um, but it's a bit odd. And actually, interestingly, it is even specified that you can have GTP inside RTP. 
So IU user plane is even specified also for the package switch side. I don't think if anyone has implemented it. But then basically you would have the GTP frame uh, inside an RTP frame with an IUUP header in front. It's like complete, uh, complete, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to say about this. Um, uh, stacking madness. Okay, anyway, yeah, so the state of the implementation is I have implemented uh, code for libosmocore in a branch, I have implemented code in TTC and 3 for testing in a branch, uh, and then I got sidetracked again. Um, so uh, since December we have some unfinished code, uh, and hopefully uh, I can manage to complete it at some point, and then we will have this. And on the, on the MGCP side, it will basically uh, have to look like from the signaling, so basically the media gateway that needs to be instructed, there's a single endpoint and one connection is normal IMR and one connection is IUUP. And to the RTP side, uh, sorry, to the MGCP side, it will basically look like yet another codec. Um, so uh, in, in the SDP you specify that pay, uh, our, uh, dynamic payload type 98 is AMR or something like that and you say another payload type uh, is IUUP and you, you uh, send this in the SDP and this is how the media gateway can distinguish the two different modes and then you have one endpoint with two connections, one is normal IMR and the other one is, uh, is crazy AMR. Okay, good. Thanks. Um, then uh, we can conclude this. Uh yeah, there is actually also uh, an BUP protocol stack, uh, which is uh, very, very similar to uh, IUUP, but I think yes. they are actually sending AMR in a proper... Um, actually, no, we, uh, what, what we've done, we've, we haven't seen AMR there because it's, it's sending uh, J711. Mm -hmm. But it's also another flavor uh, which don't have state machines, it's it's much mm. easier, uh, but also use the same encapsulation, and it's yeah. apparently used inside the core network of, of 3G. Well, NBUP is in the RAN. Um, that's basically, uh, uh, I think it's uh, specified, I mean, maybe people use it differently, but it's specified between RNC and, and Node B, if you have an IP-based backhaul on there. Um, and then basically from NB is Node B, and then from the RNC, the RNC would talk NBUP on the on the Node B side, and it would talk IUUP on the IU side back to the MSC, and that's at least how it's specified. Um, not sure what people are doing. <laughs>